My name is Joel Dean and I'm an electrically sensitive software engineer from Jamaica. Life for me a year ago was going great. I, I had just finished my degree in computer science. I got a job at the university as a software engineer working on, student manage, on the student management platform. I was heavily invested in several startups working on cool apps. And um, I could, I, I was living a normal life. I was able to use my cell phone, my laptop, Wi-Fi. I was completing a final assignment for a course that was necessary to complete my degree in computer science. I went to a friend and I borrowed a, a 4G modem. Uh, after completing the assignment, I was extremely tired, so I fell asleep around the computer and I fell asleep with the 4G modem on right beside me, basically right beside my head. The next morning I woke up and I was feeling some tingling sensations on my skin so I was very startled I was wondering what was causing this so I ran outside and as soon as I went outside the tingling feeling stopped so when I went back inside and I was close and I was close to the 4G modem that's when I realized that the modem was causing it so I was like this is not possible this reaction cannot be occurring because of a 4G modem so I went online and I googled tingling sensation when around Wi-Fi or a 4G modem and that's when I discovered electrical hypersensitivity in a UK forum. I went to a doctor and as soon as I explained to the doctor what was happening he dismissed it and said that that, that doesn't exist if it's not an electrical shock then uh, electromagnetic radiation cannot cause the effects that I'm, I'm relating to him so initially I just did some system flushes, got some rest, and the symptoms went away. So I said to myself, maybe, maybe this illness isn't real and it's all in my head. I continued, I, got a, I graduated from college. I continued using my cell phone, Wi-Fi, apps, my laptop, because I'm a techie, that's what I do. But one day, while at work, at the university, the symptoms reappeared and this time I knew that electrical hypersensitivity was real. Because I never knew, knew I was actually experiencing the first, the first phase of electrical hypersensitivity. I continued to use my cell phone, continued to be in environment with Wi-Fi and cell towers and just high magnetic fields from electrical components. So because of the continuous exposure, my body didn't get any time to, to rebuild itself. So the overall ability of my body to shield all of these fields, to be normal like everybody else, just walk around using phones, being around Wi-Fi without any pain, the overall shielding performance of my body just degraded. Life for me now, life is, is complicated and it's sometimes depressing. I'm currently stuck on a beachside, basically in the middle of nowhere. I can't use my cell phone, my laptop, my computer, all of them because they all cause pain. Can't be around Wi-Fi. Electrical sensitivity has basically crippled me. Um, and, to be a software engineer, I need to be able to actually use a computer. I can deal with not being able to use a, a cell phone and to use every other electrical component. They don't really get to me that much, but just being able to use a computer, I'll be able to work, I'll be able to, to build great apps, to provide employment for myself, to impact the world. Being detached from technology, the general environment, it's not, it's not easy being stuck in one place every single day. Not being able to see your friends, use your cell phone, not being able to go anywhere, it's very difficult. But I, I, I just have to muster the strength to, to cope with it all. Sometimes I take long walks up the beach. I spend hours just reading and writing down my thoughts. And I, I just keep my head afloat. And 
I just dream, dream of a day when this, this present struggle will all be over and I'll be able to live my life like a normal person. There's an inventor in Hawaii, Richard Conrad. He creates special computers for electrically sensitive people. Um, it involves creating a, a special shield box and this shield box is capable of blocking all electrical frequencies that come out of a general computer and a project. So what he does is he creates a box, he places the computer and the projector inside that box so no frequencies can come out of that box to affect the electrically sensitive person. To assist me in reaching this goal, you can donate to the Indiegogo campaign and all, all donations will lead toward creating this computer so that I can resume my career as a software engineer. I'll also be able to do the things we take for granted such as using YouTube, socializing with friends, doing a Google search, sending an email. I will be able to live a somewhat normal life once I'm able to interact with others online and continue to build apps because I, I love building apps, it's my passion.